I'm at the uh, Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp in Poland, a uh, place where the Nazi Germans built in the early 1940s. 1.3 million people came here, most of them Jewish, uh, some of them just Polish citizens, political prisoners, undesirables. Most of them were killed in the gas chambers or by starvation. Uh, a few hundred thousand survived. They were slave laborers. Um, it's a terrible place. It's the worst of humanity. Uh, it's something that you often hear, we can never let this happen again, never again. And it's true, and I hope that every child in every country and continent learns about the horrors of uh, what the Nazi Germans did, what Stalin and the Soviets did. Um, it's just amazing to me. When you look at these buildings, you see really well-constructed uh, buildings and there's a railroad system here um, this is what they call the selection process so the SS doctors down there would bring the Jews off the um, off the train and, and others and uh, some would go to the workers slave labor section and some would go to the gas chambers um, if you were a 20 or 30 or 40 year old man or a strong woman they'd keep you alive and if you were a child or older or had a handicap they would they would kill you um, and you hear this idea of never again, and I, I agree, but yet here we are in 2023 and it's happening again. In, in, in Europe, there's genocide going on. And while half the world wrings its hands, while America goes slowly and step by step how we support Ukraine, um, in 1939, had we just gotten together as a group of peace-loving democratic nations we could have stopped hitler in his tracks and none of this would have been built all those over there were uh were bunk houses for i think 500 people lived in each one of those little brown shacks um no toilets barely any heating um this wouldn't have happened had we stood up to hitler in 1939 and the world has a choice today either we stand up to putin and stop what his terrorist genocidal state is doing or we don't and we wring our hands and it'll be a lot more costly down the road to prevent this from happening uh, if we don't stop it now. It's always better to pull the weed out of your yard when it's small rather than let it take over the whole yard. Um, and it's not, I, I don't wanna pile on the Nazi Germans too bad. My family came from Germany many generations ago. This is not just a German problem. It's not just a Russian problem. Uh, it's a human problem. Humans have in our hearts the capability of mass murder. Like I said, the, the, the people that built and designed and ran these camps had kids and wives and they were college educated and they went to church um, and yet they still did this. And so uh, they say the only thing for evil to thrive is for good people to do nothing. And once it gets to a certain point, <laughs> you end up with Auschwitz-Birkenau and many other concentration camps. This wasn't the only one or the gulags in Eastern Russia. Um, our guide told me something very profound today, and that is genocide doesn't start with murder. Genocide starts with one man at the top, a dictator in charge of a country. It has to be a state. And then the dictator has an ideology that he tries to get everybody on board with. And then he says, these other people are bad and these other people are threatening us and we have to go after him. It happened in the 1930s and 40s. Um, it's happening today in Ukraine. It's happening with the Uyghurs in China. And it's the kind of thing that if the good nations of the world don't stand up to put an end to it, um, it will only grow. The weed will grow until it's too big. So let's never forget. Let's uh, honor the memory of these t people who died so tragically and terribly. Families torn apart. You could see in, in Auschwitz, there's suitcases with names on it and there's little children's toys and there's human hair. The Nazis were using human hair to make fabric. Um, the kitchen supplies, you know, many of them came here with hope. They thought they'd survive. They thought they would just do some work camp and then get out of it. And they were lied to by the Nazis. So let's make sure this never happens again. Um, if you ever have a chance to come to Dachau in Deutschland or, or Auschwitz, Birkenau here in Poland or any one of the other ones, go see it. Uh, and realize that this is what is capable in the human heart and we need to make sure it doesn't happen again.